Okay, so in this video, we're going to go over how to use Taskade in your daily workflows, but specifically, this one is going to be for content marketing and automation. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to first open up your Taskade workspace. So you can see I'm in my workspace right now. And we're going to click Create with AI. And what this is going to do is it's actually going to create our blog article titles for us, right? And the way we're going to do that is we're just going to type, create a list of, of blog article titles for Taskade. And we have a few options over here, so I can generate it in a different language, but the main ones that we want for this use case, we're going to press sources and we're going to do upload and I'm going to upload a list of keywords that I, I also ironically generated from using this entire thing. So now we have this list of keywords over here. So source will be included and we're going to change this from workflows to content. And the reason why is workflows is great for creating checklists, process sheets, SOPs, so it's great for that use case. Mind maps is great for breaking down concepts and brainstorming. Projects is great for planning. So if you're using, a, you're trying to create a project plan, um, you would use projects. Content is great for anything that other people are going to be looking at. So whether it's social media captions, whether it's email, or whether it's an article, anything anyone else is going to be reading is what you want for content. And then notes is great for summarizing information. So you can plug in a podcast link and then summarize it just so you don't have to sit there and listen to an hour of people talking just to take away three things. So anyway, so we're going to choose content. And we're going to say create a list of blog article titles for Taskade and we're going to press enter. Now, while it generates this, you can see it's doing that right now. This is actually really good for kind of laying your groundwork or even the starting point. So any sort of task assignment or project that I'm trying to do, what I end up doing is I always run it through this. And the reason why is I would have to sit here and type out all of this information. But now instead I could just press create project. And in one prompt, I can already have my titles and I could just edit this however I want. But this is what we're going to do. We're actually going to delete some of the information we don't need. And I'm going to change this into do that. And we're going to call these titles. And we're going to turn these into checklists. So if I choose that and I just tab it, now it's a foldable section. And we're going to put this as this. Now, we have our titles. But how do we automate this? How do we automate creating blogs? And the way we do that before we even jump into it is through automation. But before we even get to that point, we're actually going to go into create an agent for this. So we're going to press the personal tab at the top or whatever your workspace's name is. And then we're going to press the agent tab. And then I'm going to press create agent. And you're presented with the screen. And if you're not familiar with what an agent is, what you can do is can use a bunch of templates that we already provide. So there's one specifically for articles, right? So we're going to press article writer. I'll give a breakdown of what an article, uh, what an agent does. So an agent is essentially a virtual AI assistant or AI team member or AI employee, whichever is your word of choice. <laughs> so what you're going to be doing with the agent is you're going to give them instructions, same way that you would have for a new hire on your team, right? You give them what their role is, what they're supposed to do. So assist users in crafting, engaging and in informative articles. And you're going to tell them what their job responsibilities are essentially. So you tell them what you want, how you want them to format it. You give them all their instructions. You tell them what to do. You instruct them, hence the name instructions. And if you hover over it, we have these helpful tool tips that give you more about it. But the reason why agents are really powerful is because of something called knowledge. And knowledge is essentially 
resources that you can provide for your agent to do the job that you gave them in their instructions, right? So for example, I want to give the list of keywords. So I have it over here. I uploaded it. And you can see it's training. And it's ready. Now, whenever my agent, if I'm chatting with it or giving it tasks to do, it is going to reference knowledge over here to do its job. Same way that you give someone company policies or you give them any sort of resources that they need to consult in order to do their job. So for content marketing, you might upload your client's brand guidelines. You might upload their uh, tone of voice that they use in their articles. Same way that someone would be doing it on your team, you would upload that information here so they could reference it as well. And then the final part is commands. So when you tell your team member to do something, you are in a sense, commanding them. And it's the same thing over here. You create commands that are specific tasks or assignments for your agent to do, right? So one of these commands for an article writer would be review article for consistency. If I click on it, there's a guide on reviewing the article for consistency and style, tone, and message alignment. And it uses the knowledge by default. And you can run it in the background as well. But we're not going to need these. And we'll go into these in a later video. So I'm going to press update and I'm going to press update here as well. Now that we have our agent, we are going to plug this agent that we just created, the article writer, into one of our automation steps to automate blog content for us. And we're going to choose blog article titles. I'm going to press this automation pill right here. And we're going to do task completed. And now we have, when this happens, task completed. You're presented with the automation window. And the way automations work is you have a trigger, which is when this happens, and you have actions. So when a task is completed, do these steps. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to do ask agent, and we're going to create a project. And going to choose titles block and the ask agent we're going to select the article writer and over here the input we're going to say generate a blog article based on this title based on this title and topic and we're going to use at to plug in the task title so to give you a workflow, basically in automations, everything is a funnel. So whatever happens at the top levels over here, flow down as data to the bottom levels if you want it to. So when we're completing a task, we can actually rename this as blog title. When we're completing a task, what we're actually doing is we're passing the blog title to our agent and you can see it as task content. And then we're asking the agent that we trained on our knowledge and our resources, we're asking it to generate a result. So we're telling it generate a blog article based on this title and topic, and we're using the task content from this step, right? And now we wanna create a project and we're going to do at, and it says blog title. We're gonna plug in the task content over here to be the title for our project. And then over here, we're going to say at ask agent result. And then we're going to do save changes and we're going to activate this. Now I'm gonna go back and once I'm back here, I'm gonna go to projects and I'm going to press blog article titles and I'm going to complete these. So if I do one, two, three, four, five, and I'm just going to go back here, going to runs. You'll see one of them is running right now. I'm going to open this up again. So it shows me the progress that's happening. There's data. I can see the run ID over here.
And once this completes, what it's going to do is it's going to generate a blog article in a new project with the title over here. So if I refresh this, you can see it's 100% completed. I'm going to go back here. You can see this just popped up. Now, if I enter this, I have a full-fledged blog waiting for me. Now, let's say I like this and I want to push it into other areas, right? I can go back to this automation over here. And instead of just creating a project, I could just push it directly to WordPress. Now, you would need a WordPress account that's paid for and all that, but essentially you can automate your content like this. And you're doing it all through AI. Now, if I go back here, you see I have another blog. Now, all you have to do is just train your agent, tell it exactly how you want to do these things, and you can even do bulk at a time, right? So I can do five of these. And you'll see it in my runs. I'm going to leave. Yep. And you should see another one. Yep. And there you go. So that's just one way of automating your workflows within Taskade. And all within <laughs> less than 10 minutes. So yeah, there you go.